Hey everybody, Pritch here. ArenaNet just dropped their latest patch notes and I'm here to go over it with you. Today is March, uh, March 23rd, 2021. Alright, let's check out the patch notes. So, World Polish added a vendor for items from previous April Fool's celebration in Hooligan's Root in Lion's Arch. Uh, and there are also new cats visible while under the effect of Ch Oh, I'm going to mess that up. Elixir or similar effects. And uh, it's been added to each major city. So basically more cats and a vendor uh, for previous April Fool's um, things in Hooligan's Root in Lion's Arch. Uh, now let's get to the more important stuff. Profession skills. Engineers. Throw mine. Uh, increased cooldown from 15 seconds to 30 seconds in World D World only. I am not an engineer player, um, but I know NGs are super strong in World D World. I, I don't know how much I tend to see this right now but i'm i guess that is a decent little uh nerf to them uh i see a lot for guardian so that's gonna suck because i'm a guardian main um stand your ground increased cooldown from 45 seconds to 60 seconds in pvp only that is a direct nerf to core guard uh to core support guard basically um Pure of Heart, reduced heal scaling from 0.3 to 0.15 in PvP only. Virtue of Resolve, reduced heal scaling from 1.4 to 1.0 in PvP only. They are going right after Burn Dragon Hunter right here. Um, it's actually kind of funny because the last couple games I've been playing in, um, not only will I get top DPS, but if I don't have a support guard on my team, I am also getting top healing. Um, so I can understand why they want to nerf uh the heal scaling of what dragon hunters are bringing to the table right now um that makes sense to me that that's that seems like a good nerf because like if you're gonna go burn dragon hunter right like you shouldn't also be able to heal stupid large amounts like i was getting into the 100ks like pretty easily um shield of judgment reduced protection duration from four to two seconds pvp only they're just going hard here uh permeating wrath reduced burning duration from four seconds to two seconds they are, they're destroying Burn Dragon Hunter. They're like, F you, we don't want this anymore. Uh, Eternal Armory, reduced burn duration from 4 to 2. <laughs> oh my god. Sword of Justice, reduced ammunition count from 3 to 2 in PvP only. Increased cooldown between skill uses from 1 second to 5 seconds in PvP only. Burn Dragon Hunter is dead. Like, straight up, Burn Dragon Hunter is dead. The, uh, holy cow. If they if they kept everything minus the Sword of Justice part, it could still be relatively viable. But as soon as you knock down a tick, and more importantly to me, what I think kills Burn Dragon Hunter the most, and I'm saying this as someone who's been playing Burn Dragon Hunter... What kills it the most is the fact that you have to wait five seconds before casting another sword. That is, that's insane. I mean, that literally, there's, oh gosh, that's terrible. Why not just, why not just ban it? Why not just come out and say, hey, no one's allowed to play this anymore because we don't like it. <laughs> like, holy crap. Um... All right, so Burn Dragon Hunter got the ban hammer. That's done. That's over with. Um, I think my fun Zerker build could still be totally viable, though, because my fun Zerker build doesn't use any of this stuff, really. Uh, except Stand Your Ground, I suppose. Um, all right, Necromancers. I'm still... I'm, that sucks about Burn Dragon Hunter. I mean, to be fair, you saw it in, like, literally every game, except for, like, the high, high-end upper echelons of, you know, high-end plat stuff. Um, Necro, Flesh of the Master, reduced minion health bonus from 50% to 25% in PvP only. So they're going straight after the minion masters that have been plaguing uh, PvP. And you can do minion master with... Um, I've seen it with Reaper, I've seen it with... I've seen cores, and I've seen scourges. And I personally, for me, I think scourge minion master is the most annoying. Because the minions don't die, and the scourges don't die, and everything's just hitting you. Um... Death Nova reduced uh, power coefficient from 6 to 4.5. Eh, it's not like a huge nerf, but it's something. Um, I think I think 50% to 25% on minion health bonus, though. That's that's a pretty decent hit to the minions. Like, I actually think the minions, 
will probably start dying off relatively fast now. Because, like, that's... I mean, their their health bar's getting chunked down now. Um, Revenant, the other gigantic PvP class right now. Charged Mists, reduced energy gain from 25 to 10 in PvP only. Phase Traversal, increased cooldown from 5 seconds to 12 seconds. Wow! That is... What, 140% increase to the cooldown? Holy. Um, Surge of the Mist, increased cooldown from 20 seconds to 25 seconds in PvP only. Infused Light, reduced duration of damage inversion effect from 3 seconds to 2 seconds. So they're losing an entire... I mean, they're losing 33% of the uptime of it, which... that's I mean, a whole second's actually kind of a lot in PvP. Um, especially when you're talking about inversions and invulns, uh, energy expulsion, reduced knockback distance from 450 to 100. Yikes. These are giant, just PVP nerfs across the table hitting like all the big classes, right? <laughs> like, um, core support guard is heavily nerfed, or I shouldn't say heavily nerfed, but, um, it's going to feel the effects of not having stand your ground up as much, for sure. Like, 15 seconds is a lot. Um, Burn Guardian is dead. Straight up, it's just dead. Uh, Minion Master Necros have gotten hit. Revenants are getting hit out the... Donkey! ...now with a bunch of uh, PvP cooldown increases and or, like, um, inversion decreases and energy gain decreases, whatnot. Uh, Blinding Truths, this trait now has an internal cooldown of 10 seconds in PvP only. So again, just more cooldowns. So basically, the Revenants are just getting hit hard with a bunch of cooldowns. Um, other than cooldowns, there's the uh, reduced knockback, which means that they're going to have a harder time knocking somebody off of a point when they're bunker building, or sorry, when they're bunkering down on a point. Um, dang. Alright, so basically, out of the profession skills, we're seeing... Guardian, Dragon Hunter's dead. Um, support Guard is a little less strong because you're going to have a little less stability uptime. Necromancer, minions can start dying a little bit faster. So AoE cleaves and stuff like that. AoEs are going to do good, better against the uh, minion masters. Um, and Revenants basically have just a bunch of increased cooldowns, <laughs> essentially. Uh, Black Lion Trading Company Gem Store. So this is for all of you guys that love your skins and mounts and whatnot. Um, the employees of the Black Line Stables have traveled to the far corners of Tyria to make a whole new collection of mounts available to players. A new mount license is available in two varieties. I am, like, shivering. I'm, like, still super cold. Good lord. I apologize. Lost Era Mount uh, Adoption License will allow players to claim a random mount skin for the Lost Era set and are available in the style category of the gem store for 400 gems each. I'm pretty sure... Let me pull this up real fast. Promotions. Yeah. So there's there's a bunch of um, there's a bunch of new stuff in the gem store for that. Lost air amount will be available to claim at random amounts. Blah 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 blah, blah for 400 gems each. Um, and this is for a random mount skin, 400 gems. And then basically, if you want to select a mount skin, 1,200 gems. For a limited time, the new Earthbound or Etherbound weapon collection is available from Black Lion Weapon Specialist for one Black Lion claim ticket per weapon. Tickets can be found in Black Lion uh, chests. Keys are available in the utility category of the gem stores. So that's just telling you where to get keys at if you want. For a limited time, the Etherbound Gauntlets, Etherbound Greaves, and Etherbound Pauldrons are available in the style category of the gem store. So if we go to style. There we go. Uh, Etherbound Gauntlets, Greaves, Pauldrons. 500 gems. Uh, March Daily Sale continues today, uh, Tuesday, March 23rd. Enhance your mount stables with 30% off of the mount adoption and mount license for the exotic breeds, uh, Istani Isles, and New Horizon sets. Black Lion Chests. Alright, here's the goodies you're going to get from your Black Lion Chests. The Black Lion Chest has been updated to the Mystic Spring Chest and can be previewed for a full list of its contents. Uh, Ganache Blades, <laughs> um, or Nash's, uh, Nash Blades uh, Exotic Weapon Grab Bag returns as a guaranteed item uh, for the duration of the Mystic Spring Chest. 
The new Mystic uh, Smoking Pipe Warhorn skin is available as an uncommon drop for the duration of the chest. The Seven Reapers Pauldron returns as an uncommon drop for the duration. The Desert King and Mordrum Weapon Collections are available. Uh, unused versions of the Glyph of Alchemy and Glyph of Overload are available as rare drops for the duration of the chest. The items available uh, in exchange for Black Lion statuettes have been updated. Black Lion statuettes are redeemable by using the statuettes them in, uh, itself or redeeming them at any of the Black Lion chest merchants located in every major city. The exclusive Vermilion uh, Blaze Greatsword, Elemental Sword, Hounds of Balthazar Mail Carrier, and Fallen Balthazar Package are currently available. The bonus collection uh, have been updated to a selection of town clothes outfits, including but not limited to casual hoodie, uh, clothing outfit, layered vest, clothing outfits, and cherry blossom clothing outfit. Bug fixes reduced the volume on the Eternal Mandala Glider deployment sound effect. Uh, I've never used this, so this means nothing to me, but if you are one that uses it, hopefully now it's less loud in your ears. Um... Uh... Looks like there's more here as well on the latest notes. For the living world, the number of... Oh, this is right. I remember seeing this. So basically, uh, Arena Nets being nice and reducing all of the requirements in order to make the Fiery Dragon Slayer and Icy Dragon Slayer weapons, essentially. They're being nice to the community. They're reducing the stupid you know, long grind it's going to take you uh, to get all of these weapon collections. Um, the number of Prismatum ingots required to craft the Fiery Dragon Slayer and Icy Dragon Slayer weapons have been reduced from 10 to 5. The Prismatum ingot recipe has been updated to require 5 instead of 10 uh, crystals. An alternative uh, Prismatum ingot recipe that uses more crystals and fewer ingot or, or Calcum ingots is available from the... Uh, Amakan Vendor in the Eye of the North. Um, the Daily Dragon Responder achievement now rewards up to 10 Prismacite, uh, prismacite uh, crystals instead of 6. Um, basically everything is just going to cost you less to make the collections. That's essentially all it is. Um, fixed an issue that prevented the search bar from displaying in customized windows for legendary upgrades in non-legendary gear. I wasn't aware of this bug, so congratulations on fixing it. Uh, bug fixes. Fixed a bug that prevented Pepper Seed from reappearing in Thunderhead Peaks. Finally. How long has that bug been in the game? Oh my gosh. So, for those that aren't aware, there is a legendary trinket in the game called Vision. It is this right here. Um. Uh, I currently have it, and it is the thing that makes these bubbles appear right here. All right, these these little floaty bubbles are because of vision. Oh, I need to arc, I need to update our DPS too. Um, so these little floaty bubble things are because of vision, right? It's a legendary uh, it's a legendary accessory. So in order to get vision, you need to do a ridiculously large large amount of achievements in all six of the. Um, in all six of the Living World Season 4 maps. This includes Thunderhead Peaks. One of the things you need to do in Thunderhead Peaks is a certain event mission that only happens after a certain chain of events. And for the longest time, this would give players hell. Because it was bugged. Because one of the things, Pepper Seed, wouldn't spawn. So if Pepper Seed doesn't spawn, you can't do the event, which means you can't get vision. Which is nothing wrong on your part, it's just, it's bugged, and so you can't do it. And so I, I swear this has been in the game for forever. <laughs> and they finally are saying that they have patched and fixed it. So, if you're looking to get vision, now's a good time to get rolling before something else breaks. <laughs> if it's working, if what they claim has happened is actually happening. Uh, that's awesome though. So, that has been the patch rundown um, for March 23rd, 2021. Uh, this update is already in-game at the time of recording. They, like, basically released it and then launched it at, like, the same time. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, good luck to all of you burn dragon hunters like myself out there that need to go find a new home somewhere. Um, and I will catch you in the next one, guys. Thank you. Have a good one.